Why was the Civil War and Emancipation Proclamation not enough to bring peace and harmony, in your estimation? Yeah, well, yeah the, the problem was twofold. The sin of America was so great and grave with slavery, and so much of America embraced it that they were not willing to accept the change. In, in other words, hearts were not sufficiently changed, and there had to be a bloody civil war to settle this. But Charles Finney, who was an abolitionist, was a revivalist first. And Finney warned that if we did not respond rightly, if we did not have revival first to change the hearts of the nation, that we would have a bloody civil war. And right now, there are factions in America rising up on all sides that, that there, could, there could be literally a bloody clash coming from all different sides, from the radical right, from the radical left, that, that will endanger all of us. The only hope is the changing of hearts through a massive awakening. Look, we can have the right justices in the courts. We can overthrow Roe v. Wade and throw things back to the individual states. That would be a big breakthrough. But then hearts have to be changed. Minds have to be changed. And that's something only the gospel can do. In that sense, even the Americans who hate God and who hate the gospel, they have to realize that this is the only hope of America.